Hello, and welcome to another TI Precision Labs video on the LDC calculator tools. My name is Justin Beigel, and today we will be covering the FEM spreadsheet and a brief overview of FEM simulations. FEM, or Finite Element Method Magnets, is a simulation software that can be used to simulate the magnetic fields involved in various applications. The FEM homepage can be found at www.fem.info, and they show a motor as their example. They have many other examples and documentation available as well. This tool is very useful to see the impact a metal target has on an inductive sensor and is used in the FEM spreadsheet. The FEM spreadsheet is very similar to the Spiral Inductor Designer tab of the LDC Tools spreadsheet, except it uses FEM simulation to calculate the output results. Since the parameters of this have been covered in a previous video, we won't go into too much detail here, but we will talk about the design that is chosen. For this, I have chosen to use the LDC 3114 and I am operating at room temperature. I am using a 10 mm coil design with a 220 picofarad capacitor. Based on my coil properties, I have created a coil fill ratio of 0.59. The target I am using in my design is an aluminum target that is 0.2 mm thick. My target sits at 3 mm away from my coil, which doesn't cause too much of a shift in the outputs for this device. The Q factor is too high, so I need to make some changes to the design. I can increase my capacitor, but that will drop my sensor frequency, and I'm already close to the lower end that is supported by this device. Instead, I chose to decrease the number of turns per layer down to 7 for my coil design. Now with this change in number of turns, the Q factor is within range and there are no changes needed for this design. Also note that the coil fill ratio is now close to the upper end of the recommended region. The FEM outputs are at the bottom of the spreadsheet and only update after pressing the Run FEM button on the right. There are two checkboxes below this button that allow you to save the simulation and run a sensitivity analysis if desired. If FEM is not installed on the computer, the spreadsheet will prompt you to install FEM from the FEM homepage. The results obtained from the FEM simulation differ from those of the calculation in the spreadsheet because it uses the trace properties and the magnetic coupling between the sensor and the target to determine the outputs. The target shift also shows how much frequency change is expected on the sensor for the given target motion. The FEM simulation can be opened and the magnetic field of the sensor coil can be viewed. The simulation splits the sensor in the middle and only simulates half the traces to save time since the other half will just be a mirror of what is shown. The right image shows the sensor coils and aluminum target along with the surrounding area of air for the simulation boundary. The left image shows the magnetic field strength and the lines for the sensor coil and a set target distance. If you wish to do more advanced simulations with FEM, there are more examples and information available on FEM's website. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. For more information on inductive technology, please visit our homepage at ti.com forward slash LDC.